What's up YouTube? My name is Adam and this is Broke Man Finance. In this video, we're going to talk about two of my favorite EV companies out there, NEO and BYD. Which one is more likely to hit $100 in that share price first? In fact, this past week, all the EV companies, and I expect it to next week, just about all the EV companies were pushing up in their share price because a lot of the election stuff is finally coming to an end. Uh, usually when that happens, there's less volatility in the market and people feel safer reinvesting that money. Uh, and it looks like the Democrats are going to pretty much control, well, everything. <laughs> and a lot of people believe that that is good for any company that's associated with climate change or EV. But there was some more good news here recently over the past week with those two EV companies that I just mentioned. First up is BYD. This is one I've talked about before in the past with other videos and one that I am I am actually invested in this company, me and along with my friend Warren Buffett. We're like this, y'all. Since investing with them just a couple months ago, I'm already up 20% on my money. The weird thing to me is they always seem to fly under the radar. They're not, I guess they're just not as sexy as a Tesla or a Neo or Workhorse or maybe some other just speculative EV play. But every, it seems like they are always consistently going up, but they never hardly get any credit or, or YouTube time. CNBC reported an 11% year over year drop in total electric passenger car sales in 2020. But that's not surprising because of the lockdowns. BYD sold 137,970 units of battery powered electric vehicles in 2020. Now, in December 2020, BYD's combined sales of electric and plug in hybrid vehicles increased to 27,594 units. That is a 150% year over year growth, part of the reason they started pushing up in share price recently. The Han Electric sedan has been the key sales driver for BYD, crossing 10,000 units in the first five months of its launch since July. The electric sedan is performing on par with NEO, but outperforming other popular Chinese EV companies like Xping and Li Auto. Don't forget, BYD is into all kinds of things, not just cars. They are a very diversified company. This past week, they're up 12.4%. Over the past month, they're up 36.8%. Past three months, almost 95%. And the past year, 528%. With those numbers, it is still hard for me to understand why nobody is talking about BYD as much as they are somebody else like a Hylion or a Workhorse. BYD is consistently making their investors money. I think BYD is going to be around for a while, so make sure you don't overlook them. I could see them crossing over $80 per share. Could be sooner than I'm expecting, but I'm expecting them to do that in the first half of 2021, and I expect them to be over $100 by the second half of 2021. Now those numbers could come a lot sooner. All it would take is just a little bit of news and a little bit of hype. Next up is a crowd favorite and that is NEO. NEO had their NEO day recently and reported some incredible numbers. The Chinese electric vehicle maker delivered 7,007 vehicles in December. That's up from 5,291 in November and up 121% compared with December 2019. That marks nine consecutive months of triple digit delivery volume growth for NEO. The important point here, I want you to remember when I say the past nine months of growth, what was nine months ago? March. <laughs> what happened in March? Well, everything sank like an anchor. NEO was able to have that kind of growth with all of that going on. That's pretty impressive. So if NEO can have that kind of growth in times of pandemic, literally, then what will they be able to do in times of normalcy, whatever that even looks like anymore? I have no idea. This time a year ago, very few people even knew who NEO was. So few, it was actually trading for like three bucks a share. If only we knew then what well, we know now. Fast forward to now, 
and the share price is trading for around $59 currently. But people are saying that NEO as a company is still in the very early stages of its potential. That this share price is going to go to could potentially over the next few years, 10 times where it's even at right now. NEO released a photo of their new sedan and this should have investors excited. This EV is said to have a bigger battery and should continue to drive sales. And not only that, NEO also had some other good news to share, and that was the fact that NEO and NVIDIA, one of my favorite words to say, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, have agreed to a partnership. NEO will use NVIDIA Drive for advanced automated driving technology in its future fleets, making the genesis of truly intelligent and personalized NEO vehicles. The cooperation between NEO and NVIDIA will accelerate the development of autonomous driving on smart vehicles, said NEO CEO William Lee. NEO's in-house developed autonomous driving algorithms will be running on four industry-leading NVIDIA Orin processors, delivering an unprecedented 1,000 trillion operations per second in production cars. Sounds really smart. Here's one analyst from MSN Money and why he believes it will hit $100. These numbers are based on a few major assumptions, including China's electric vehicle market closes in on 45% auto penetration by 2030. NEO grabs 8% market share in China, up from 3% today, representing dominant share in the luxury market and a small share in the non-luxury market. NEO sells internationally, too, and grabs about 4% EV market share outside of China. NEO's gross margins pan out around 25% with the OPEX rate hovering around 10% for operating margins of 15%. With all that being said, BYD, NEO are going to be two major players in the EV market for years to come. I wish I could put a, an actual price point on what I think this could get to over the next few years, but there's really no telling as fast as these companies are growing and innovating. There's no reason in the next decade why these two companies could not 10 times your money if you invested right now. But that's all I have. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on BYD and NEO, why you're for them, against them. I'm definitely for both of them, obviously. Uh, but with that being said, I hope your stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe and everyone out there takes care.